Moving into the next thing is Presumed Innocence. This series just ended like a couple weeks ago. Me and my wife were waiting to watch this. It stars Jake Gyllenhaal. Um, we binged it in one day, and it's about a horrific murder that upends the Chicago prosecuting attorney's office when one of its own is suspected of that crime. That suspect is Jake Gyllenhaal. It also stars the likes of Ruth Nega and Bill Camp. Now, Phil, I got to watch this with my wife. We binged it in one sitting. It was one of the best series of the entire year. You wow. never. The, my favorite thing about the series was the fact that you never knew if he actually did it or not. Like you find out. Mm -hmm. But I love that because some series you watch and you're like two, three episodes in, you're like, he clearly didn't do it or he clearly did do it or, okay, it's not him, but it, it has to be this person, right? Yeah. They Every time it changes your opinion by the end of the episode, you're like, oh, he didn't do it. There's no way. It's got to be this guy. Mm -hmm. And then the next episode introduces something different to it all and you're like, oh, maybe he did do it and he just like can't re recollect it okay, no, it's not him. It has to be the, oh, wait, no, maybe it is him. And having those conversations with my wife was like one of the best experiences. Like for an eight episode series, you really get into the thick of this and how this entire murder ruins this family's life. Because so he's, you know, the Chicago prosecuting attorney. He's like the main one that prosecutes all these people and then gets, you know, uh, basically basically said that, you know, he, he gets suspected of the crime. Mm -hmm. So when he's suspected of the crime, you're like, okay, so like maybe he did do it, maybe he didn't. But then it comes out, like, why is he suspected of the crime? Because he's having an affair with this lady mm -hmm. the entire time. He has two teenage kids and a wife, and he was having an affair with this lady who was also pregnant with his kid. So it just gets very messy and all these sorts of things. And the fact that, like, again, it's just, you never know. Yeah. And I was really honed into... How is this going to end? Who actually did it? Is he guilty? Does he get found guilty? And all the revelations that come out of it like really sucked me into this series. I personally think this is one of the best shows of this year. Like I said, um, I would totally give it like a 9.5 out of 10. It got renewed for a second season. Um, I don't know if Jake Gyllenhaal's coming back. There's some talk that it might just be like every season's a different crime story mm -hmm. with different characters and different actors. But part of me wants to see a little bit more of some of the characters in here. So I'm hoping that season two, like, actually dives into that. Is this a series that, like, you feel like you'd be interested in watching? I mean, that sounds cool. Like, a murder mystery kind yeah. of deal is... It's a very hard balancing act. Mm -hmm. So just, like, hearing that you um, you were having, like, kind of all these second yeah. guesses. I think that's, like, cool. When you find a good series that balances um, and just doesn't, like, throw it away, it's super easy. I agree. Uh, Jake John Hall's phenomenal in this. Uh, Ruth Nega, who plays his wife, phenomenal. Uh, Bill Camp, phenomenal. Like, really much every person involved with the series is just great. Um, but overall, I loved it. 9.5 out of 10. Uh, the only reason I'm giving it that 0. 0.5 is mostly because I'm curious to see if it gets a second season. If mm -hmm. it gets a set, like, it's not like it left me with questions that needed to be answered, but there's certain things that I would like to see moved forward. And I feel like a season two can do that. So we will see.